Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're on the last part of our Acura repair. Today we're going to replace the lock actuator in the door. When you hit the door locks, all of them try to go down but the driver's one. So it's got a lazy operator or it's getting bad. It's, you know, it's an older car, things happen. So we're going to uh, pull the door panel off of it and put the new lock actuator in and get it fixed up. And then the car should be ready to go to a new owner. <laughs> So we're getting there. So y'all follow us along and we're going to try to film the best we can inside the door. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay. Okay, the part we're replacing is called a door lock actuator. That's what it looks like and it's in there. <laughs> this part is in there. So we got to take this whole thing apart. Now I've got a few tools here. I don't know if well, that piece of paper just went <laughs> and went away. So first thing we got to get, we got three screws holding the panel on and then some clips we got to pull it out. But in here there's a little cover. There's a screw behind here. We're going to take this little pick and pop this cover off. There we go. That was easy. And then uh, Phillips screwdriver. I see two Phillips screws. I don't know if I have to take them both out or just one out. We'll take them both out. Yeah, it looks like both of them would have held it. All right, we'll just throw them in there on the carpet. We got another one down under here. There we go. I can feel it in the slot. Can't see nothing, but it's in there. That feels like a whole lot bigger screw than those others. And it should be loose. It felt like it was. Yeah, it's loose. Ain't gonna fall out until I pull. There it goes. It fell out. We got it. Okay, now we got one here on the end. Alright, so we got that. And the next thing to do is to pull this panel. It's got little pins inside there. There we go. There we go. We got it started. And then you kind of lift up on it. And it's off. Then you got to unhook everything. Now the thing about these plugs, when you unplug them, they, they pretty much only go in one place, so you ain't got to be too remembering where it's at. I just can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just having to do it by feel. Alright, let's get down here where I can see. Get a screwdriver. There we go. All right, panel is off. Now we got to find a good, safe place to put this so we don't get it scratched up. The grass is clean; it ain't gonna hurt it. We can wipe off the dirt. <laughs> okay. Next thing we got to do is get this open because we got to go in here. So we're going to have to get this uh, shield off. Uh, let's go get a razor blade and we'll cut that. Okay, we're just going to try to keep from tearing this up because this is what keeps the water from coming in. I cut part of the plastic. All right. Okay, that ought to be far enough because I'm just going to be reaching in right there. Let's get this little pin unhooked. And we need to get the window in the up position. Uh-oh. Can't roll up the window. I got no switches. Let's go get the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So we got to plug in the, the two that was the hardest ones to undo. Let's see if the window go up now. There we go. Alright. Now, let's take them back off. I wish somebody told me that before I got started. Okay. Now it came out easy the first time. There we go. <laughs> I just wanted to argue. Now I've done a lock actuator before, but it's probably been 15 or 20 years ago. So we're going to have to move a lot of stuff to get to it. We're going to have to take, we need a 10 millimeter. That's the door track. It's right in the way where everything's at. Let me just show you around here, see if you can see it. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. I got a flashlight. Let's put a little light in there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. See it? It's right there. That's where we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a ways in there. Alright. Alright. Well that one don't want to come off easy. There we go. Got that screw out, we'll lay it by the 10 millimeter wrench. And that comes up. We'll never get that back in there. We'll just throw it away and not worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta get it in there. Okay. Push this little clip, those two ears, and then that piece goes inside. There we go. Gets that down out of the way. We got a uh, wiring harness here. These little tabs on these plugs. don't want to work real easily so we're using the pliers there we go got that out of the way okay we're unbolted we've got a little lock rod up here that we've got to take off now a lot of this I can't see because everything is in the way Okay, we got that little rod off. That's this rod up here. And I need a screwdriver. I'll take this out. You know, it would have helped if I'd watched this on YouTube first. <laughs> There we go. Got that loose. I guess we're going to have to take that off. Well, I'm not doing a good job of getting it squeezed. Ah, got it. See, there's little tabs right there. That's what I was trying to mash, squeeze them in so it could come out of the hole without breaking it. Now we got three screws down here to undo, and this should be almost be ready to come out other than I've got this one rod in here. But we're gonna have to get it a little farther. I don't know if I can take the rod off up there or not. I'm afraid if I did, I'd never get it back together. 
Uh, let me see if I can look up in there. Where's my flashlight? By the way. These are pretty tight. It'd be nice if I had an impact. So we'll cheat and use a crescent wrench. Ooh, that one was tight. Did you hear that pop? Now the real trick is remembering where all this stuff went. <laughs> See if it'll move. All right, let's get this one. There we go. That's that rod. I couldn't get it off the other end, so we're trying to take it off this end. Uh oh, what fell in the door? Something fell in the door. Oh, that, that plug. Oh my gosh, how are we going to get this back together? <laughs> this is the part we're replacing right here. Let's see if it's is it screwed on or does it just pop in there? Where's our new one? Goes all the way around. It's got one screw in it right there. So let's get that one screw out. There we go. Fell right there. Don't lose that. And then it's uh, like we got some little tabs. <clears throat> see, it's got a little tab right there. There we go. There's the hidden screw. And we got to put that on there too. So it goes on like this. Goes in that little slot there. And then this little piece goes in to that little slot. So we just got to get everything back where it goes. Okay, got that out. Well, that came out pretty easy. Now let's stick the new one in. Oh, the new one's laying there in my lap. Okay, so we got to get this rod in that hole. Okay. Okay. So now we can put this screw back in. There we go. That tightened up that time. All right, so we got to put this little deal in this clip. See, so it goes in the little hole there. And then the little rod pin locks over it. And when I was reaching in the door a while ago, that's what I was doing is unlocking those clips off that other one on there. Well, it's all in position. Now we got to put the cover back on. What did we do? Oh, the cover's right here. Gosh, talk about a snake that would have bit you. Or bit me. These rods are just wanting to fight me the whole way. Okay, got that rod on, got that rod on. Okay, we're getting closer. <laughs> okay, so we can put this up here. And this goes right like that. And so we got a little... All right. What size bolt was that? I don't think that's it. I bet that's it. I might have the whole toolbox out here before long. Where's the long screwdriver? Here it is. Okay, 
guess the next thing to do would be to put this track back in. Man, I should have never pulled that out. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got that in there. We just got to tighten it up. These screws here on the end. get my tightener okay well we got so many tools laying around out here <laughs> okay that's tight we I think we got everything in there hooked up looks like it if not, we'll find out when we put it together. All right, let's hook this clip up here. This goes right here. And these go back through. The shield here. And where do these others go through? Found to go, oh! <laughs> They plug into the uh, actuator here. I knew they went somewhere. I guess that kind of told me. Okay, so we got these hanging out. Uh, we got to run this back through here. And let's see if our sticky is going to stick back up there. Now I think we're ready for the panel. We can plug all these plugs back in, put this cable on. And see how it does. Then we got a, a screw here, a screw here, and we got two screws there. Let's go grab the panel. Okay. Okay, that one goes about right there. One goes right there. Like I said everything is kind of close proximity where it goes there. And this goes there. We got one more. I said we got one more. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, so we got everybody clipped in, and this has to wrap over the top of that. All right, we're ready to put some screws in. Okay, now we throw the screws in here. Yep, this one goes here. last screw to put in the door panel okay where's the little panel right here goes in like this you got that little clip on the end that slides in the slot all right it's in there it's all together Look at all the tools. Oh my God. All right, let's close the door and see how it works. Hand me the keys and my hat. All right, let's try this door lock and see if it works. You can see it. You see the little button in there? There you go. You can see it go up. There we go. You hit it twice and it unlocks the other doors. Well, you can't hardly see that thing. Well, let's do this. I was telling my uh, granddaughter about uh, you hit the lock once and then hold it down the second time. All the windows and the sunroof opens. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And as long as you hold it down, they go all the way down. Now you can see the door lock. Let's do it again. 
lock, unlock, lock, unlock. I guess it's fixed. We'll see how long this one lasts. I hope it lasts as long as the original one did. All right. That's the last of the repairs for the uh, Acura that we're going to do. We're going to take it for a test drive, make sure the brakes are okay, and that should wrap it up for us. Anyway, it's been a a lot of work but we've got there and uh, we want to appreciate y'all for appreciate y'all watching our videos <laughs> hit that thumbs up and hit that like button and uh, please subscribe y'all have a great day